Hello, my name's Mary McBain and I'm a designer with Craftsy Print. Today I want to show you how to make my new table lamp cards. There are several different ones in the series um, and there are going to be some more yet. These are a few samples of it. So, the one I'm going to be making today is this one. which is Edwardian Roses, which is cat number 541576 underscore 1648. Okay, so it's actually very simple to make. There are two sheets. The first one is card back and front. And the second one is the insert the decoupage and some name and some greeting plates. Okay so we'll get started. I've already I've already cut everything out because you don't want to sit and watch me cutting so these are the main pieces. So the back of the card and the insert have fold lines along them which need to be scored and folded. So just take your ruler and make a score mark along. Fold it along the score line. insert. Okay, so now what we have to do is join the back and front. So, I'm using wet glue because it's a, because of the, the shape, it's easier to use wet glue so that you can manipulate it a wee bit after. After you put it together. Now that forms the main body of the card and the back of the card acts as a stand for it. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is to put the insert in. Again, because it's um, in a regular shape, I prefer to use a white glue. make sure that it's going to fold all right. I prefer to match up the edges rather than if you have it folded very slightly when you're you're doing it it's easier to get the edges to align properly. Just make sure. 
there's no white showing on the outside. There now, that's the main card with the insert. The insert has a writing plate for your message there and it's already, it's already printed in. Okay, so the next stage is to put decoupage in. Now I've already cut it all out and I've just given, given it a little bit of shaping. So what we need to do is start with the largest piece and build that to the smallest one. Now I've already put the sticky pads on because uh, that takes ages and you don't want to watch me do that unfortunately. I now have to um, take all the backs off so that does take a wee while. And it's very often just easier to do it with your fingers. <laughs> I generally prefer to make up the decoupage before I put it in the card. That way if you make any mistakes you haven't you haven't ruined the whole card, just the decoupage pieces and you could reprint them. shaping just just to give it that little bit of extra dimension make sure the pattern underneath matches So that's all the decoupage made up. Now it's just a case of attaching it to the card front. And the only, the last thing to do is to put on a greeting tag. I've just chosen the happy birthday one. You can go anywhere in the front or on the inside if you prefer. card. Very simple to make but it's a wee bit different from the from the norm. To see this and any of my other designs please go to www.craftsyprint.com forward slash mary-mcbain forward slash 
Thank you very much for watching. See you again soon.